Hi friends, welcome to Dr. Sunil's educational channel and this is Dr. Sunil himself. A little about myself, I have done my medical studies at Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Belgaum, Karnatak. So without any further wastage of time, let's begin the topic of today which is how to control acidity, dyspepsia, indigestion or reflux, gastro, uh, reflux uh, disease. So, uh, firstly is mainly it depends upon our lifestyle. So, better than going for medicines, if you change your lifestyle, so there will be very little requirement or no requirement of medicines like antacids or uh, proton pump uh, control inhibitors because they can be addictive and if you stop the medicines then acidity can increase but if your lifestyle is bad then even the medicines won't help if the lifestyle is good then even the medicines won't be required so firstly i would like to tell you that uh, acidity main cause or i mean to say common cause is dis anxiety because it is uh, acidity is also a psychosomatic disease it means that the uh, anxiety leads to increased gastric acid secretion and which in turn leads to symptoms of dyspepsia or indigestion or acidity so if you can control your acidity by any meditational methods which you practice or which you are aware of or which suits you so you can continue to practice and give sufficient time in the morning for meditation so that anxiety does not cause acidity and second lifestyle habit is you should always you should always eat sattvic foods i mean to say you should avoid foods which are in the modes of passion and ignorance according to our indian tradition so you should avoid oily too much oily spicy foods or foods from restaurants which are unhygienic which use too much oil or which used some restaurants even use double oil use the same oil two times or the quality of oil may be not be good which in turn leads to indigestion and acidity symptoms and you should avoid foods which are too spicy we should also avoid foods which are too pungent that is very pungent odor like uh, for example uh, you know garlic that is a pungent type of food so if you eat it i already, i would say that you if not immediately but gradually you should get over it because although for set, temporarily it will give you benefit but after in a long term these foods do not help in in turn they, they may cause harm and you should also avoid foods which are kept for a long time you should, you should eat foods which are wholesome which are juicy which are uh, fresh and which are hot and not kept cold kept foods that is one point and secondly you should also another point you should remember that you should uh, not take water during or after the meals you should take as much as water you like before eating the meals because the water has a cooling effect on the digestion of the stomach so if you take water after the meals the digestive capacity reduces and which is not in harmony with the uh, because water then will act against the digestion and therefore it is causing imbalance of the gastrointestinal system which can further not only lead to acidity but it can also lead to reflux symptoms or indigestion or even flatulence so you should avoid uh, take water only before the meals you should make it a habit even if now you are taking and secondly even if you eat fruits you should avoid eating fruits after meals you can take it before the meals because uh, fruits again have a uh, it's not in harmony with uh, because the food food stuffs which you eat in meals these are hot and these are uh, hot foods and fruits are cold foods so fruits after meals is not uh, recommended you should take the fruits before the meals and last but not the least another point is you should uh, avoid uh, meat so this is a very controversial topic some people may advise you you continue eating meat but although this may in the short term it may help you but uh, in the long term it is very bad because the human digestive tract is scientifically proved not suitable for meat because uh, because it is uh, the meat stays in the stomach for a long time which causes very harmful effects on the gastrointestinal tract so if you are eating meat 
I would personally recommend that if not immediately, you should be 100% sure that you get over the habit slowly but surely. That's so that after some time, you are totally, you will, you will not only feel fresh, but you will feel the difference of eating sattvic vegetarian foods. Then also carbonated drinks. Uh, these are to be avoided because they are very bad. They contain a lot of sugar and that also harmful sugar. And they are also increase the acidity. They have a direct effect on acidity. So you should reduce carbonated drinks and all. And another point is you should uh, not immediately lie down after meals. For some time, at least for 15 minutes, for some activity you should do while sitting down. Means after eating from dinner table, you should uh, sit somewhere or either on the dinner table by talking or, or at some place by reading or some activity for 15 to 20 minutes. Because if you immediately lie down, then there, there may be chances of reflux of food contents up on the upward way. Because uh, as if you eat gravy foods, so gravy foods have a tendency to rise up again if you lie down. Because if you lie down, the gravity causes the liquid foods to go up and therefore it may increase the acidity and reflux symptoms. So you should avoid lying down after eating foods.